Hi, my name's Ellie Thompson. I'm the editor at My Bubba and I'm also a vlogger blogger for Your Baby Club. I'm here today to share the five things you need to know once you bring your newborn home. Cluster feeding. Now, this was something that freaked me out when I had my first child. I didn't know what it was. I'd not heard of it. I just thought I was doing really badly at breastfeeding, but it's really completely normal. The good news is for newborns to cluster feed and it usually happens within the first few weeks or months. Cluster feeding is when your baby will want to be fed much more regularly than normal for shorter periods of time, usually for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time for two to three hours. It might happen a lot at night and it can be because they're about to go through a growth spurt or they may be catching up if they didn't eat as much at their last feed. Nappy changes. Babies have such delicate skin, it's really important to change their nappy as soon as you realise they've done a pee or a poo. This will help prevent nappy rash. Uh, you can be expecting to change a baby's nappy probably around 10 to 12 times a day in the first few weeks. So it's really important to stock up on supplies and also figure out which nappies work best for your family. Skin to skin. Skin to skin time is so important for your baby and it's 100% something both you and your partner can be doing with your little one. It's great for developing that close bond with your baby. It's calming and relaxing and it can regulate their breathing, heart rate and temperature. Skin to skin can also stimulate your baby's feeding instincts and it can help boost your milk supply. Bonus. Sleep and routine. Yep. Sleep's going to be probably the biggest issue all new parents have to face, the lack of sleep. Uh, so it's really important to lower your expectations and brace yourself for a bit of a roller coaster ride during those first few weeks of bringing your baby home. Winding your baby. This has got to be one of the key reasons your baby might struggle to settle or sleep. Whether they're breastfed or bottle fed, every baby needs winding properly. My go-to for this is always the Magic Sleep Fairy, Alison Scott Wright. She's got some great techniques for this, which are especially brilliant for reflux babies like my two were. You can hold your baby over your shoulder and pat their bottom as opposed to their back, which tends to bring up the milk. Or you can sit them upright on your lap with your hands underneath their armpits, supporting their head, which will kind of cause them to just naturally bring up some wind. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed my five things to know once you bring your newborn home. Don't forget to visit yourbabyclub.co.uk for more advice and parenting hacks.